Guys, we just got issued a new challenge from the Mini Thai doll. Check this out. There are a whole bunch of different types of drinks here. Oh my gosh! Time to play the game! <gasps> These dolls I think are just choose a drink. I think they're leaving it mysterious for a reason. Choose your drink! Okay. Choose one is good? It's like lime. Oh. Time to choose another. Stop! Is it good? It's like cream soda. Oh, I love that drink! Good? Like, I know what it is. It's what? grass. Stop. Grass. You chose wrong. What does that mean? We chose wrong. I don't know. Jordan, Jordan I was, never finished it. Jordan, you were to finish it. What? It's kind of a mix of apple cider and rotten apples. Okay, let's see. A little autumn. Oh, it does spring. not smell good. <laughs> oh no. We oh, chose wrong. Oh. Choose again. No. I think that's Hidden Valley Ranch. <laughs> In a drink bottle. He chose wrong. He's coming. <laughs> oh, no. Close the windows. We gotta. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, okay, guys, somebody's coming. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes, I will. In three. Two, one. Got me, guys. I feel something. There's definitely something inside of this doll. All right, guys. As you guys can tell, if you've been watching the Doll Maker series, pause real fast. If you haven't been watching, you gotta go back and watch our previous videos because I'm reading our comments. As you guys know, I like to read a lot of the comments that you guys give us, and you guys are saying things in there that I had to go back and look at some of the footage, and I'm starting to see some mysterious things, uh, some of the clues that you guys are giving us, and it got me thinking, I need to take a little bit of action here, and I need to, I need to figure out what's going on with these dolls. You guys are saying they're kind of creepy dolls. You guys are saying the mysterious dolls. You're saying Abigail is moving. You're saying the new doll is moving. You guys are giving timestamps of when that's happening. So I appreciate that because I'm able to go there and I'm able to see it and find it. And so it got me thinking, I think what I need to do is I need to figure out what's going on with these dolls. So we've got the Abigail doll. We've got, we call it the little Tai Tai doll. And then I think something else just happened. If you watched our previous video where we did the drink video, Jacob started acting really weird and I don't know what happened. He changed into a whole nother outfit. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But what I'm gonna do in this video here, guys, is I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes to help me find out the mysteries of these dolls. And so, I guess I could say here, but look, look who's here with me. They haven't been moving. They haven't been doing anything. So, I think what I need to do is I need to take it up a level on our side. I'm going to x-ray the dolls to see what is inside of them. So what's inside the dolls? And if I see something, then we might just have to take the dolls apart to find out what's inside. So this could be really revealing. Uh, we know that the doll maker is behind this. We know that the dolls make the kids act a little weird, um, but we're gonna figure this out. Because around Halloween time, this all starts to happen. Halloween seems to bring out kind of the craziness and the, the creepiness and the weird things. And that's when they show up. So I'm gonna do this at night because I don't want the kids to see because I don't want them to get mad that I'm taking the dolls. So I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna build a big box fort laboratory. And I went and got some schematics and some blueprints off the internet on how to build an x-ray machine. I've got all the tools and everything downstairs. So next time I see you, I'll be in the box fort. Let's make the x-ray machine. Let's figure out what's inside these dolls and let's get this mystery solved. All right guys, it's about midnight. Everybody's asleep. I built the box fort as you can see here so that I could kind of just be a little bit quieter. But also to help kind of make sure that all the x-ray uh, waves do not escape. I've never made an x-ray machine before so I don't know exactly how safe this is going to be. So I put the box fort up, one for a sound barrier, but two kind of just for protection so that everything stays contained. The goal here is I want to find out what's inside these two creepy, mysterious, weird dolls, right? So we've got Abigail, who we have always said has been controlled by the doll maker. Then we have little Tai Tai, and that's the name that we've given it because we don't really know what else to call it. This one, we don't know what's going on with this one yet. All we know is that when the doll's around, Tyler's gone. When Tyler's around, the doll's gone. Very few times do you see both in the same room together. And I think that's just because we're watching. Because anytime that we take our eyes off of uh, one or the other, they disappear. So what I did is I called my friend who lives down in Arizona. He's an engineer. He's really good at this stuff. He sent me over the diagram of how to build my own 
x-ray machine. Guys, this is pretty complicated, but I think I've found all the parts. The goal here is to use these blueprints so that we can find out what's inside those dolls that we believe are both sent from the doll maker. was a double paned glass window so that I can actually see in and see what's happening. It had to be double paned. It can't be single paned. Double paned to keep the x-rays inside the machine. So that was the first thing that I got. Then I'm using one of our boxes here and I'm gonna put everything inside the box. What this is gonna do is this is gonna become the housing for the x-ray machine. Guys, then I was able to find the x-ray coils. So this coil, when plugged into the, the mainframe, it's going to be able to send the x-rays through. So right now, pretty harmless, but once it's activated and on the box, um, that's the part that I'm a little worried about. I don't know exactly how it's gonna react. I found this at the junkyard. Can you believe it? I've got the control board to control the frequency waves, the power, and then also the on and off switch. I picked up a couple of uh, cameras so that we can record everything. I'm gonna try to put one on the inside, see if it works. I don't know what x-rays do to cameras, so it may or may not work. And then I've got a radiation device here so I can tell how much radiation is actually being emitted if I'm doing too much or too little. A heat sensor. I'm gonna test the temperature of the dolls to see if there's any type of life. If they're alive and they're real, they'll probably register about 93%, 93 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly about 20, 21 degrees Celsius. We're gonna test these before and after the x-ray. Guys, let's put this together. Okay, I also forgot to mention, I picked up some thermal tape. This tape is supposed to work in high heat and uh, I don't know what it does with the x-rays, but that's what we're gonna kind of hold some of this stuff together with. So. I'm just going to take and outline this box here because I need to cut this open. You want to make sure that you cut it to where it is accurate so it's sealed because we don't want any of the x-rays getting out. All right, now I'm going to cut open the box. This is going to be our viewer so that we can see exactly what is going on inside of this x-ray machine. All right, there's our first step. Okay guys, I got it cut out. Now I'm gonna put the double paned glass in front of it. Use some of our thermal tape here to seal it. So I want you guys to be able to see, just like I can see, what's happening with this x-ray. Okay, the viewer's in place. Okay, according to this, now that I've got the viewer in place, I've gotta put on the x-ray coil, and I believe that the x-ray coil is going to sit on the top. So I wanna to be able to x-ray from the top down. All right, according to the diagram, I need to make sure that it's in the top center of the machine. I need to secure it, so I'm gonna use some more of this thermal tape to hold it down because the last thing that we wanna have happen is that this move and give us a false reading. All right, we've got that taped down. It's not going anywhere, it's secured. Now it's time to put the brain box on. All right, so one of the first things I wanna do is secure the brain box of the radiation machine so that I know exactly how much is actually going in versus how much is coming out. Then the second thing I wanna make sure that I attach here is going to be the mixer and the amplifier. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow us to be able to give different types of x-rays, how deep to go through, if we want it just kind of be an outer surface or all the way through, if there's any metal in there or if there's any other types of liquids, I can adjust this so that we can see different types of x-rays. So if we look here on the diagram, I've got, I've got, I'm not using a dual x-ray, I'm only using a single because I don't need such of a big operation, but there's the brain box, there's the mixer. I'm gonna add a trap door on the side so that I can put in the doll. I'm gonna wrap it in the thermal tape so that it doesn't let any of the radiation out. And then I think it's time to plug it in. Cross our fingers, this works.
Okay guys, I've got the components on top. I'll get them all plugged in here in just a second. I just want to show you, I created the door so that I can put any type of uh, object in there so that we can get it x-rayed. I lined it in the thermal tape so that it doesn't uh, escape any radiation. Now what I want to do is I want to put this camera in. I got this camera. Um, let's just see what it does. I don't know how well that's going to film inside the box, but uh, I'm going to set it right here. Again, full viewing, we can see, you can see through there. This is gonna be great. According to the diagram here, I just gotta do the wiring and we're set. Got the power to it. Okay, now time to put in the radiation machine. So it can now read everything that comes off of there. So from a wire standpoint, we're good to go. Okay guys, I've had the doll sitting over here in the other side of the, the box for it that I built. One last thing I wanna do is I just wanna perform a test. So this is an infrared thermometer. And what this will do is this is going to measure heat sources. What I wanna do is I wanna see if, if these dolls are emitting any type of heat source. Because if they are, I don't know what's gonna happen if they are. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to, if you guys can see on the box there, the laser pointer, I'm just gonna point it to the box just to see how warm that is. That's giving off a heat signature of 65.3. All right. Let me just do another test on my hand. 93, 94, 95. So roughly about that 95 is my hand. The dolls should be the same as the box. If they're not the same, I may have to go grab Katie because I don't know what to do. Let's see what we got. Reset it. Okay, one last time on the box, 65.3. Okay, now let's show it on the doll here. Guys. The doll is 81. That's a different heat source. Let's see what heat source comes off of Abigail. Guys, Abigail is 82. All right, different heat signatures from the box to the dolls to me. I was about 94, 95. The dolls were in the 80s, the box was in the 60s. So now we gotta figure out why the dolls are higher than the boxes. They should be the exact same. They're just a, they're just a toy. There shouldn't be any heat coming off of them. Let's get them in the x-ray machine and see. First, we will x-ray Abigail. Then we'll x-ray little Tai Tai. Wish me luck that this machine works. All right guys, before I put the dolls in, I wanna make sure that everything is dialed in and is working correctly. So we have a bunch of different options here. One being direct. So what I wanna do is I wanna turn this on to the direct because I want the x-rays going right down into the doll. And then I'm gonna put it up on power level. Uh, let's go with power level one. And then move our sensitivity bars here into the middle. I think a good mid-grade x-ray should work perfect. So we got that dialed in. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that we're reading any type of radioactivity correctly. So I'm going to just turn this on and just see if we can get it to read anything at all and then that it's working. All right, that was good to see. That was good to see that jump and make that noise. Let's turn the, the sensitivity, let's turn it all the way up because quite frankly, if it's, if it's escape, emitting any type of radioactivity that's coming out of the box, I want to know, so that should be good. Okay guys, I think I've got it all finished. The last thing I did is I put on these thermal barriers here on the outer side. Let's see if you guys can see that. So I put it all around the, the sides here. I couldn't cover the top because I've got the x-ray machine there. Everything around the side and on the back, and that's where I'll be standing. I'll be standing in the back. Inside here is where the dolls will be placed. I've got it powered on. It's on medium strength. As you can see when it powered on, lights came on inside. I guess that's from the, the coil there. I'm not sure, but there's like a red light in there. But uh, the two dolls have been sitting over there. Wait, did he move? He wasn't sitting like that before. Oh, I've got to hurry up and get this done. All right, let's start with Abigail. Okay guys, let me put Abigail in and uh, we'll turn on the x-ray machine. Close this door so that no radiation can get out. Cover it. All right, it's ready to go. I'm gonna turn off the lights. 
I'll put the camera in front so that you can see it, and then we'll turn on the x-ray machine. Okay guys, there you see Abigail's in there. Everything's ready. I'm just gonna go over there and press the x-ray. Set the camera down here so you guys can see it happen. And Guys, one thing I forgot to tell you is I, I have it controlled on my phone. I plugged it into the brain box here. And so it'll record the pictures into my phone and then I'll be able to show you on screen what this actually looks like. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. All right, let's try it again. No radiation's coming out. This is great. Okay, in three, two, one. Okay, there's the two pictures. Let's grab a little tie tie. Let's take out Abigail and put in little tie tie. Whoa, he's moving. Let's get him in there. Okay, we got little tie tie in. Let me show you what this is gonna look like. Okay, guys, he's in there, ready for the x ray. All right, let's reset this. Make sure it's on direct, because we want a direct x-ray in three, two, one. Okay, let's take one more in three, two, one. All right, that should be it. Let's check out the results. All right, guys, the x-rays are in. Let me put up on the screen here so that you guys can see it. Here is Abigail. All right, as you can see in Abigail, I kind of expected to see this kind of stuff inside of her. It really looks like a doll with, um, like her, you know how her eyes open and close? So you can kind of see in there where there's probably some mechanism. At one point there was probably a, even a talking mechanism in her. Not a whole lot. So that's kind of what I was expecting to see. So I'm not too worried. Um, she is putting off a little bit high heat signature, but the one that I want to take a closer look at is little Tai Tai. Okay, so here's the picture of little Tai Tai. Check this out. Let me zoom in a little bit. Can you guys see the stuff that's inside of little Tai Tai? I want to get a closer look, guys. I think we need to open up baby Tai Tai and find out what's inside. What do you think? Should I open him up or should I leave him the way he is? I'm going to open him up. Okay, guys. I have been examining this doll with a couple of different magnifying glasses just to see if there's like a, a difference in the type of fibers. Cause if you remember the temperature on this doll is warmer than say like the walls and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to figure out what clues I might be able to find with this mysterious doll. His mouth does move. I can't see what causes his mouth to move. There's a mechanism way in the back and I'm thinking that might be some of the things that popped up in the uh, x-ray but uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna make an incision here and see if we can get inside the doll and get a visual on what this looks like so I've been taking a couple of measurements just to see kind of before what this doll looks like I might use some of these tools to help open up and keep the keep the doll open but from everything I'm seeing here he is just a normal doll you guys keep commenting down below that he moves that it's spooky, that it's, you know, the doll maker. I don't know. X-ray showed up some weird stuff, so let's let's open him up and see what happens. Guys, guys, check. Oh, sorry. Guys, guys, check this out. Look at this. Look at all this stuffing. All right, I've been to Build-A-Bear before. I've seen how they've put the stuffing in the dolls. This doll has way too much stuffing. Like, I've been pulling this out. But look at this. I think the composition of it is different than the normal doll. It's like in little pieces. It's not like fluffy like the others. So this tells me this is like either really old technology. I wonder if it's fire resistant. I wonder if this is what's causing the heat signature on that thermal uh, tool that we were using. So I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna, we're gonna send this in for some analysis. In fact, I'm gonna put it in my pocket so I don't forget. Wait guys, I feel something. There's definitely something inside of this doll. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Check this out. You guys see that? Wires, why would there be electrical wires inside of this doll? There's no electrical component to this. Whoa, there's a lot. Whoa, it's under a, what? Okay, I'm trying to remember, in the movies, do they cut the red wire or the green wire? Which one is the safe one? Do I even cut these? All right, this, this tool here is gonna help me 
<laughs> Ooh, ah, loud. All right, this tool here, what it's gonna allow me to do is be able to hear any micro sounds that are inside of it. If there's a heartbeat, if there's like electrical pulses going through. So when I put this inside, if I hear electrical pulses, then somehow this is being energized. Okay guys, whoa, super sensitive. Okay, here we go. <gasps> I'm gonna put it down inside of this black area because that seems to be where all the wires are going. It's coming through. I'm gonna put it in further. Whoa, that goes way down. It's getting louder. Okay, definitely some sound signatures coming through when I put this on. I can't hear it here, but when this was inside, you could definitely hear it. Something is unique about this doll. It's almost morning time. I've been working on this all throughout the night. I've gotta, I've gotta head back upstairs so that nobody's suspecting that I'm doing anything with the doll. So I'm gonna just put this back inside and maybe I can continue this at another time, but I'm gonna put him back together and then I'm gonna go tell Katie what I found. I'm not gonna tell the kids, but I'm gonna tell Katie. You guys, shh, this is our secret for now. I don't want the doll maker finding out, so don't comment down below what I found, but comment down below what you think is controlling the doll. All right, I think I've got them all put back together now.